Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hope you're having a dope ass day. It is me, OP Streamer, bringing you guys back with some more WWE 2K20, my career mode. Time to get things going. We are in chapter 16 of the My Player, My Career for Jonathan Gershman and Evelyn Rose. So I think I have everything set uh, for what I want it to be. So I think we're just going to go ahead and get ourselves started. Um, I want to save us some more skill points before I. Uh, Go back to the tree because I only have 19 uh, plus 21. Well, I have 21 skill points and 19 attribute points or attribute attribute points, and I have 22 attribute points and then uh, 24 skill points uh, for Ever the Rose. So I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, they're both living legends right now. So um, I guess we're gonna go ahead and get started with chapter 16. Let's do it. Let's see what we have. See what we got. I think it's about that time. I'm going to be right back really quick guys, I'm just going to grab myself a drink and I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's do this. And I'm so sorry it's been a week since I did my last video. I've actually been pretty sick the past week or so. Not really sure what it was that I had, but I uh, didn't really feel like doing anything. So I wasn't even, I didn't even work uh, this whole week yet, but I'll be going back to work today and back to normal. Uh, let's continue our story. Let's do this. It is that time to continue our story. What do we have? So this is chapter 16. I believe there's 18 to 19 chapters. I think, or 20. There might be just 20, but... We'll see. I know we're getting pretty close to the end. We're way more than halfway there. I think, I think we're close to the end. I think we only have like two or three more chapters left. But let's see what we got. But each chapter is almost an hour long. Some are actually a little over an hour long. Right. I'm gonna shut up during this cutscene. Let's see what she has to say. I am a big fan of movies. Mostly the ones I've starred in, but there are some other ones that are okay too. But in any film, my favorite part is always near the end when the villain explains their big evil plan going over every single detail of how they pulled the wool over the stupid idiot hero's eyes. But in movies, this usually allows the hero time to escape or stop the bad guy in some way. But I'm not gonna be stopped. See, I already destroyed your idiot hero last week with the help of Samoa Joe. So now, I have all the time in the world to walk you through every single detail of my brilliant scheme. Like I said, this is my favorite part. So here we go. When I was GM, I brought Samoa Joe back fully knowing what his plans were for attacking Trey in the best of five final and costing Red her title. In fact, I helped make those plans myself. Then, I gave Trey a title match against Adam Cole just so Joe could eventually take it from Trey. Sorry, Adam. After that, I inserted myself into the mixed match challenge as Trey's partner to earn his trust, giving me the opportunity to teach him the secret Coquina Clutch escape. Only when Joe got it on Trey, and he thought he had it all under control, those ankles weren't crossed, were they? because it wasn't a secret anymore. I told Joe exactly what to expect, and Trey never had a chance. <laughs> now, unfortunately, to make Trey and Red think I had changed for the better, I did have to donate a bunch of money to an animal shelter. But don't worry, I purchased the shelter, kicked out all the disgusting animals, and I'm turning it into the newest location for my tanning salon chain, Brooklyn Von Brown. Which, if you ask me, is a lot more to serve the community. So right about now, your tiny brains are probably asking, but why, Brooklyn? Why would you do all of this? I did this to maintain the hierarchy. 
to show Red and Trey that despite what they think they've achieved in WWE, I'm the star and they're the losers. Just like it's always been. And that will never change. Anyway, I've spent way too much time talking about those rejects, so let's discuss what's next for the American hero. New trademark lawsuit pending. Well, I have some big news to share. I'm a champion. You see, I recently talked to WWE management about bringing back a title from the past, and they agreed I was the perfect superstar to award it to. So I'd like to present to you your new WWE Divas Champion, me! You've got to be kidding me. I guess this explains why I was told to inform Red that the Divas Championship was already spoken for. You know, maybe in the future, Trey, you should be a little more careful about who sees your phone. You never know what they could find on there. Like maybe even a copy of a list outlining all their friends' dreams and ambitions. Clearly, Red oh, here comes Red Evelyn Rose. Oh, she should be mad at her friend Trey for letting all this happen. <laughs> Let's go right Let's go. now. Right you now. and you. Me. I'm a prize fighter, I'm a prize fighter. and considering, and I've, considering got prize, I've got the prize, I decide when I, decide I, fight. When I fight. So run, so along. run along. Maybe there's something else Maybe you can cross off, you your, can list, cross like off your list, find like someone who will take me on, on a date, or, or fix my jacked up teeth. Those are real, Those are real things, on, real her things list. on her list. I saw it. I saw it. I'm coming for I'm you coming and you that title. Look out! That just happened. All right, let's see what's next. So what's the verdict? So what's the verdict? Nothing too serious. I'll just be out a couple weeks. You're lucky. That could have ended your career. It would take a much worse attack than that to end my career. Or being offered the hosting gig on America's Next Top Hand Model, which is the best show on TV, hands down. See? I'm a natural. So, are you mad that Brooklyn saw the list on my phone? I was. But I think I'm over it, considering you almost got snapped in half trying to help me. Besides, I just found out next week I have a number one contenders match for the Divas Championship. So I'm still gonna cross it off the list. Good. At least one of us will be in the title picture. What do you mean? Aren't you gonna use your rematch clause when you heal up? I would if I had one. 
Turns out one of the other loose ends Brooklyn took care of before she stepped down as GM was removing the rematch clause from my contract. So if I want another shot at Samoa Joe, I'm gonna have to earn it just like anyone else. I know you can do it. But first, I need to focus on getting better. I guess it's just like on America's Next Top Hand model when Andrea jammed her finger playing volleyball and lost the Christmas engagement ring campaign. It took a lot of hard work and moisturizing, but in a couple months her hand was back in top form and she booked the Valentine's Day spot, which was way bigger than the Christmas gig. I must have missed that episode. I can get you a copy. I have every one of them saved. I think I got the gist of it. Your loss. <laughs> All right. What's going to happen now? <clears throat> what is coming now? Well, it's probably the match, the contender match, maybe. We're going to take that title from her. Yeah, I think it is. We're going to take that title from her, I promise. We are going to take that title from her. Once and for all. I mean, how many superstars are on this match? That's four, okay, so it's, it's a fatal four, man. So there's no objectives, just gotta win by pinfall. Okay, that did not work out too well. Then we would have to try another motive. And she was supposed to fall from that. Simply out of spite towards Red. The Divas Championship actually holds a lot of personal meaning for yes. Red. Yes. Take Nia Jax down. Milestone. She wanted to cross off her list. You We're going to go ahead and aim for some Dakota Kai, though. Ever holding the Divas Championship. She still has that opportunity if she can win this match and then defeat Brooklyn Von Braun. Nope. Had it scouted. Oh, the Banks got her there. Oh! Okay, I was... Why didn't that let me hit it? I was thinking about what to do next here. Ever the Rose is down? Alright. Oh, look at this. This is outrageous power. Set it up. I'm not sure if we're gonna fail if we lose this match. Because I have lost Fatal 4 matches due to being rolled out like that, like it just did. So I'm not really sure. If I have to win, if I'm gonna fail if I lose, or if I'm gonna fail if I lose, or if we'll actually continue if I lose, I'm not really sure, but we'll see. I'm gonna try to win this thing. I don't think it's an elimination match. I think it's just gonna be one person. You just gotta pin somebody. You just gotta find the right time. That did not really work out too well, did it? Oh yeah, there we go. You get her. You get her. Now it's just me and Sasha. Whatever well, the Rose and Sasha. I do kind of like that nickname, Red Hot Red, though. Or like Hot. What was it? It was a uh, Hot Head Red. I think's what it was called. I kind of do like that nickname. Cause I was kind of using the uh, the Jet Boss, which he was in T T H G. I was kind of using that uh, as a nickname. But I think I might still use that, but I think I might use Hot Red or Hot Head Red too. Just because Evelyn Rose, Evelyn Rose has been known for her red hair for most of her career. She's changed it every now and then since joining WWE, but before WWE, she's always had red hair, never changed the color. So she uses her red hair the most, but that's kind of what she's known for. Four kind of like Eva Marie a little bit, kind of the, the one with the red hair. Yeah, kind of like that. It's She's known for red Here hair. Look at this. Oh. It'd be kind of cool to see Sasha Banks and Ever the Rose in a big rivalry though. Knowing that uh, oh, Sasha Banks has blue hair right. and Ever the Rose has red hair, it's like, oh, well, um, they're like the opposites. Red and blue is opposites of each other. So I think it would be really cool to have the red hair and the blue hair compete. 
Let's take out Nia Jax. We gotta really injure Nia Jax. I'm gonna aim for Nia Jax the most. She's gotta get her held down. We really gotta get her down. Oh, and she countered. That's not good. She countered. That is not gonna be good. Nope. Oh, she's still not falling down. There we go. Now she's down. Now she's down. Wrenches the arm. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, what is Lariat. And now taking out Sasha Banks. And now again taking out Nia Jax. Evelyn Rose really focused in this match. She knows what's at stake. She knows that it's a championship opportunity. She's always wanted to win the WWE Divas Championship. And now she has her chance if she wins this match. I think that's why she's doing everything she can to win. Another DDT. Remember guys, this is all just a dream of what would happen. Evelyn Rose kind of dreaming of being into the Hall of Fame. And this is kind of like replaying everything that she wants to accomplish in the WWE. So this is just for my career. This is not for the universe mode. In the universe mode, she has never competed on Raw or SmackDown. She has strictly been on THG and made appearances on NXT UK. Had a few matches on NXT UK, but she's not officially part of the NXT UK roster. But she's mainly on THG. And um, as you guys know, Jonathan Gersman is the current THG World Heavyweight Champion. Um, which obviously we won't have those championships. And I will not be doing THG and 2K20 until they add that championship or the create a championship patch back into the game. Which hopefully, this is going to be by the end of the year. So it could, it's either going to be this month or next month. And now the game, okay, now I can't do anything. Maybe someone will break it up. I'm just going to wait here for a minute, see if someone will break it up. I can't do anything. It's not letting me do anything. But maybe someone will break it up. It will, co it will continue. No? No one's going to break it up? No one's going to break it up? No, no, don't, don't quit. Don't quit yet. Come on, break it up, somebody. Break it up, somebody. Come on, break it up. Dakota, Dakota, break it up, please. Break this up. Ugh, okay, we're gonna have to start this over. God, 2K is completely horrible and lazy as fuck. Like, they are completely lazy. They've always been lazy. And each game is worse than the other. Like, they'll make a game and it's worse than the last one. And now I have to start the whole entire match all over again just because 2K decides to put two, two billion glitches in the game. Kind of pisses me off. The Divas Championship actually holds a lot of personal meaning for Red, and it was one of the final milestones she wanted to cross off her list. You two are acting like Red's been balling. Yeah, I am punching you. There we go. She still has that opportunity if she can win this match. I gotta take out Sasha Banks. We gotta take out everybody. Back in the ring now. We're gonna we're gonna aim on one person, and we're gonna take their health completely down to Red. And then we are going to go for another person, do the same thing, and so forth. Am I going to do all of that before I get down to Yellow House? She's able to turn it on at will. Things aren't looking good for her. To the outside. Let's see what we got. I think I had the fire up, so I think I can store up to three finishers now. I wasn't able to before, but I think I can now. So I'm not going to use all my finishers yet. I'm just going to save all my finishers so I get to three of them. Let's see what we can do. Oh gosh. That ain't going to help. But that move barely even did anything to Evelyn. Oh, nice Shining Wizard from Sasha Banks. She's almost on red health. Alright, 
Alright, she's on red hell. Well, I guess we can actually go ahead and do a signature on her. We can at least do that. Just not to finish her. There we go. Alright. So now we're going to go ahead and go for somebody else, and hopefully one of them will start aiming for somebody else. Again. Nia Jax go for Sasha now. She might go for Sasha now. There we go. Alright. So now we're going to aim for Dakota Kai. This is, um, there is no count now, so we're just going to take out Dakota Kai here, outside the ring. Well, we should maybe go back inside the ring. So Nia Jax is and Sasha, because I did damage Sasha pretty well. So I don't want Nia Jax to be the one to win. But they're all outside the ring now. Dakota Kai is already almost on red because she's been damaged by Nia. Nia Jax is still in green though. It's been mainly Nia Jax destroying Dakota Kai. Oh, I countered that. I hate when you press the counter button at the same at the right time and you still can't counter it. Like I know I countered that. Kota Kai is almost on red, then we're gonna go after Nia Jax and get her down to red. Nia Jax, uh okay. Alright, Dakota Kai is on red. Now we're gonna take out Nia Jax and aim for Nia. Take her down to red. Well, if I can get up. Get up! And she's oh gosh. That's not good. Wow, what a sequence. Oh, no. I was not trying to take out Dakota. There's the weakness in agility. Come on, pin. I thought that was it. Ah. Wow, and Sasha has seen better days, but she's still alive, and that's all that matters right now. Uh oh, oh, that's the impact. Take it down, Dakota. And take it down, Nia Jax. She seemed to have gained the advantage. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, she's getting after it, showing great Evan energy. Rose is taking down everybody. We're going to focus on Nia Jax some more, though. But she's still in yellow. Uh -oh. Really, Dakota? Really? Can you go for Sasha, please? You're kind of ruining my plan right now. Why is everyone aiming for me? Nia is in the corner. Oh my god. This is how I always lose my matches. Oh look at this. Oh kicks. Oh man. Please turn your lights out. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Take her out. I'm gonna keep taking out Naya. I really want to get her injured. Get her out of here. Yes, Pin Dakota. Come on, come on, come on. Uh. No. Come on, come on. Pin, 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 pin. Let's see. Two. Yeah. Yes. What? That's what I'm talking about. Evan the Rose with the victory. Here is your winner, Evelyn Rose. Impressive victory for her here. Evelyn Rose getting the victory here tonight. And that is what I am talking about. And I think she's the number one contender now. Yes, indeed. Number one contender.
for the WWE Divas Championship. And she's going to take it from Brooklyn Von Braun. All right. Let's see what's next. At the Royal Rumble, the WWE Universe will witness a night of firsts. It'll be the first time the WWE Divas Contract Championship signing. has been defended in nearly 15 years. And it'll be the first time these two longtime rivals step inside the ring and face each other in a one-on-one -on -one match. So ladies, all that's left is to sign the contract and make this unprecedented night official. Byron, as former GM of SmackDown Live, I conducted quite a few contract signings. And let me just say, you're doing a terrible job. You didn't even give me a chance to embarrass my opponent. Sorry. Now, Byron mentioned this is going to be the first official match between Red and I, but we've had our share of fights over the years. So I wanted to take the WWE Universe back to when Red and I were in high school to see actual footage from our very first fight. Well, it was really more of a one-sided beatdown. This is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you gonna do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table? I'm going to get help. <laughs> just like they always have. You, on the ground, screaming in pain, tapping out to the biggest crossover star in WWE history, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun! Oh, guys, we're gonna attack Brooklyn. We got to. We gotta do that. You know, I heard a rumor that you were going to show that footage tonight. So with that in mind, I actually got a gift for you. <laughs> That's cute, but I don't put that high fructose trash in my finely tuned body. It's not going in your body, it's going on your body. Of course, Hot Hand Red loses her temper. Red's going to get revenge for their high school encounter. Not if Brooklyn has anything to say about it. The old cell phone video didn't do it justice. It's even better in person all these years later. Brooklyn may have won up red again here tonight, but these two lifelong rivals will finally settle their differences once and for all at the Royal Rumble. We're still going to beat Brooklyn, guys. We are. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. next I got Elias I wrote a special Ooh. song for the Royal Rumble want to hear it not really well I'm gonna play it anyway huh well I've been searching all these years for a sign to show me the way but it was right in front of me and he went by the name of Trey you see, this man's been lucky his entire stupid career, so I knew if he could succeed, I had nothing to fear. Tonight I outlast 29 men so I can get my shot at the goal. And then the universe walks with Elias in the greatest tale ever told. 
So what do you think? What do you think? I think you're going to have to rewrite your song after tonight. Oh. I think so, too. So what number did you get for the Royal Rumble match? Two. Two. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a really tough draw. But I'm sure lots of people have won from that spot. Wait. Is that piece of paper with your number on it folded in half? Oh, yeah, it oh, is. Yeah, it's, not it's not two. It's 23. Okay. Now I like your chances a little better. Not that I was doubting you before. <laughs> After I win the Rumble, I can't wait to watch you put Brooklyn in her place once and for all. She may have gotten the better of me in the past, but tonight's different. She has to step has into to step my ring. Yeah. My only concern is she might pull something cheap, like having Samoa Joe get involved. I'll make sure that doesn't happen. By the way, have you seen Sin Cara? I think I owe him an apology. Why? When I thought I drew number two, I may have thrown a slight tantrum and damaged his mini trampoline. I'm not sure he even knows how to get into the ring without that. I think he'll manage for one night. Besides, we have bigger things to worry about. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, that's gonna, okay, that's gonna be good. All right, go to the Royal Rumble match. Let's do it. We're going to the Royal Rumble match, guys. It is the Royal Rumble. Depending on how long the Royal Rumble match is, this could be the last match for this episode. Like I said, um, these chapters are getting longer as you go through them, so we're starting to get into part one and part two episodes. Because I do um, one video, it's one chapter per video. So this is part one. I know it's going to go into part two, but let's just see how this goes. If I have time to do, uh, if I have time to do Brooklyn on Bronze and Evan Rose match, I will. If not, that'll be a part two. It's going to need a lot more stakes and lift a lot more weights if he wants to throw Otis over the top rope. Adam Cole from behind, and he eliminates both of them. Oh. I don't call eliminating both of them. Give him a chance to catch his breath before the next super. I'm not sure what number on. What number are we? Obviously, this is probably the middle of the Roy Rumble. I wonder if this is Trace right here. This might be Trace. Oh, it's in car. What the heck? That was that was Trey that damaged the mini trampoline. Like Sin Cara will not be able to compete in the Royal Rumble match. Oh, that must have been Trey that damaged the trampoline. That must have been 22, so this must be 23. This must be right here. Yeah, this is Trey's entrance right here. So this is number 23. And we'll probably be playing from here on now. Sorry, man. That's that's on me. These two certainly have some unfinished business as Trey defeated Adam Cole for the WWE Championship thanks to Samoa Joe's interference. What can a victory here in a Royal Rumble that Super Superstar's career, Corey? All right, so win the Royal Rumble by, eliminate, by eliminating your opponents. All right. You with the opportunity of a lifetime. Is that enough, or should I keep going? Uh, it, it means you're the first person guaranteed a main event match at WrestleMania. It's huge. You folks can say they've done it. You've done it. Okay. One competitor will get a lot of points. Oh, Seth Rollins. Okay. Okay. It's all that coming. Jonathan Gersman is taking out everybody. Oh, Elias 
this. And take out Elias. Man, I'm telling you, Jonathan Gersman really just taking down everybody right now. Oh, it's Big E. Hold on, change of plans here. Interesting approach, Michael. I'm not sure I would do the same thing. And what's? Oh, look at this. Here it is. Yes. Can he get him? And take it down, Big E. Oh, uh, Big E has a little bit of a history with Jonathan Guzman joining the New Day and that uh, five-pack type challenge thingy, whatever it is, whatever that was called. I can't remember what it was called. We gotta start taking some people out, though. Let's try to take some people out here. Really? You just cost me from taking out Adam Cole, buddy. Come on, Velveteen. Ugh. But he's just about to take out Adam Cole. Megan is trying to make this a lot easier for people. Could be trouble here, guys. Wicked body shot. What's he gonna do with it? The DDT. Ah. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Can I you? Oh, I don't think I have that Royal Rumble finisher yet. There we go. There's Adam Cole. What took him so long? Ah, uh, probably not injured enough for that. Oh my God! What an elbow! Harsh impact. Oh, right up there. With a small man back. Straight punch. Nothing fancy. Talk about rock. There it is. Rollins has been eliminated. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Right there, guys. Elias. With an exclamation has point, been no less. Eliminated. Ah, damn it. Back suplex. Bam, what a slap. Uh-uh. You don't see this side of Big E very often. Drop kick. And taking that. Oh, he did not fall. Yeah, he is. Oh, you have to really injure him out. Heavy duty right hand. He is efficient and dangerous with his and own. Big E is out. He's got a head of steam working. Guys, I don't think we can watch a Royal Rumble match without mentioning the mastermind behind the epic event. Of course, that person is WWE Hall of Famer Pat Patterson, a true legend. A harsh impact. Oh, and Siguri. And I'll take out Daniel Bryan. And I'll take it out Velveteen Dream again. Here we go. Ah, uh, I hate when they just go back in the ring like that just instantly. Oh, able to counter. Trump with precision. And Velveteen Dream is out. Nope, that's not working. Big reversal. Drop kick with precision. Then kick right to the gut. Lightning fast reflexes. 
What a series of strikes from one of the most prolific strikers in the game. Wow, this shakes things up. Uh, that's not even. How am I aiming for Ricochet? He's not even in the ring yet. Got the leg. Oh, oh you oh kidding me? Back of his neck. Oh gosh. With the power of Ricochet. Reflecting a bit more on Pat Patterson creating the rumble, I can tell you that the concept wasn't initially welcomed with great fondness. <laughs> Imagine pitching a battle royal uh, with just two people. Just stay and out of the ring, self. please. When it comes to Patterson, you have to trust that he knows what he's doing. Could very well get dumped out here. Uh oh, full Nelson. Reverse STO. Ricochet hooks for the Northern Lights. There it is. Well, folks over. Wait a second. Yet. Nice right hand. Oh, it's able to counter. Roundhouse kick. No, I don't think so, Ricochet. Hits the mark. Ooh. Why, Daniel? Just keep taking out Kevin Obviously, fucking Goddamn Owens. Wow, that was a close one. Yeah, I would have been surprised if we saw an elimination there. It's not That's not even right. Aim. I didn't even aim him there. I didn't aim him in the corner. Oh, come on, you freaking idiot. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Ugh. Bringing it back between the ropes. His offense is on point right now. Great, now because of you, Ricochet, Daniel Bryan's not eliminated. Well scouted reversal there. I'm gonna take you out before I take out Daniel Bryan. No days. Oh my god. Just stay down. Ring rattling. Ugh. I'm a fan of you in real life, but you're kind of annoying in this game. Goodbye, Daniel. Daniel Bryan has been eliminated. Oh. Yeah. What? Jonathan Gersman has done it. Championship at WrestleMania. Jonathan Gersman has done it. Wait, what? What? Is that Wait. what I think it is? No way. Is this Donald Trump? Is this Donald Trump? It's the, the Rock. Of the United States of America. The president of the Oh my Oh God. Did they just say the president? It, the, the Rock is the president of the United States in this game? Oh, that's great. That is great. What the heck? The Rock is the president of the United States. Oh my gosh. We're all witnessing history for the first time ever. The president is competing in the Royal Rumble. And Trey has the president the of the United States is the Over Rock. The years, there have been numerous surprise entrants in the Royal Rumble, from returning superstars to legends and even celebrities. Oh my but God, that is that's great. That is surprise great. Factor aside, what can we expect to see from President Rock tonight? I mean, as of late, all President years, Rock. Have been on the political variety <laughs> oh, that's in great. What kind of fight? That is great. Is Just look at him. I don't think he's missed a workout the entire time he's been in the Oval Office. In fact. I heard half of Air Force One has been converted into the. I can still walk during his entrance. And don't forget, Trey's already been in the Rumble for a while. The president's. Now like attack him in the entrance. You two may be right, but we're about to find out if our commander in chief has what it takes to uh. win the Rumble. Oh yes, I can. Oh my God, what just happened? Did I just glitch the game? No, I did not. Okay. Oh, I thought like glitch the game was something by doing that. Capitalize. 
Oh, it's gonna be hard Take him out just like that. Oh. The Rock turns it around. Oh, what a cold breaker. Wow, what impact. All he has the blackout two times the second to the Rock. And Jonathan Gersman even eliminated the rock. The two blackouts and then the elimination. It looks like the president. Oh, he's ready. The rock's not done. The rock's not done. Be a handshake, it's a handshake. Trey has earned the president's seal of approval. Maybe he's alive for a cabinet position. Is he gonna rock bottom him? I feel like he's gonna do rock bottom. He should at least get an invite to the White I feel like he's gonna do rock bottom. No? Maybe not. No, but he's a busy guy. I'm sure he'll get around to invite Okay, maybe he won't, I guess. It feels like he's gonna do like a rock bottom or something. That's what it feels like. I guess not, okay. But Jonathan Gersman won the Royal Rumble. Yes, indeed, he did. I want to see if there's any cutscenes at all. And then I guess we'll end it there after the cutscene, but let's see if there's any cutscenes at all here before we do this. Let's see what we got. I think the last part of this chapter is defeating Brooklyn Von Braun for the Divas Championship. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's right now. Is scheduled for one fall. It is for the WWE Divas Championship. You might have time to do this. You might have time to do this. I do have to skip the entrances though, but you might have time to do this match actually. Let's see. It's the one. Let's see. The objectives at all? Introducing the challenger from Huntington Beach, California, Evelyn Rose. And introducing the champion, she is the WWE Divas Champion, the American Hero. The historic Divas title may have a new owner tonight. All right. The match with Is there any objectives? Of build -up yeah, we got to get Brooklyn to yellow health. It's Red versus Brooklyn Von Braun. Until recently, I would have thought Red had the advantage with Brooklyn Von Braun stepping onto her turf. But Brooklyn's transition from MMA to WWE has been virtually seamless. Yeah, it's very similar to how quickly Ronda Rousey was able to get acclimated <coughs> to WWE. With that being said, tonight's outcome is extremely difficult to predict, as this might be one of the most personal conflicts we've ever witnessed. A nice drop kick from Evan the Rose. This might be big. I believe Evan the Rose's uh, overall is like almost 80 right now. So it's getting up there pretty well. And she's getting fired up. Now what? Before the strike while Brooklyn is in the ring. Here we go. Red and Brooklyn are going back and forth, taking out years of frustration on each other. Looks like Red's got the upper hand for now. Red with the tackle. And now both women are down. So far, these two have been matching each other move for move. One of them needs to somehow gain an inch. All right. Oh, that's it? What? What? There's got to be more. That doesn't make sense. There's got to be more. 
Maybe there will be more. Maybe it's just a weird cutscene. That's kind of weird to have a cutscene right there. That can't be it. But usually there wouldn't be a cutscene like this right here. It will usually just continue where we can play the match again. I don't think that's it. There's probably more. I don't know why there's a loading screen right here, though. That's kind of weird. Shouldn't really be a loading screen right there. And there you see oh. Samoa oh. Joe watching right. this heated battle. Oh, he's watching the match, I guess. Okay. Cutscene. I think he's headed out here to provide oh, that wait. Brooklyn needs. I bet he, oh, yeah. Okay. I kind of figured. I was like, I bet we're going to have a backstage ball now with Jonathan Gozman. So now they're doing their match, and then we're doing this match. I remember that from earlier because Jonathan Gozman says he's going to make sure that doesn't happen. So I saw Samoa Joe. I was like, oh, he's probably going to attack Samoa Joe now. He should have ponied up for the insurance, you cheapskate. An impressive series of moves. We're gonna go Looks ahead and like go over here, budging, and we're gonna hit our finisher in the parking lot. Just go over here, Samoa Joe. Come over here. There's a car right there. There's never a car right there, so I'm guessing we're probably gonna be using that car oh, somewhere. Man, Somewhere I feel like we're going to be using that car on something. Uh -oh. time to get up now. Hey, yeah, check him out. Yeah, he's going to use the car now here. But for how long? Wait, what's Trey doing? I think he's going to put Joe inside the trunk of that car. He's going to try to. Joe's John, this is Jonathan Gozman's car, the red car right here. This is Jonathan Gozman's car. He's putting him inside his trunk. Yeah, assuming that trunk is strong enough to contain Joe and his enhanced arm, it looks like it'll do the job for now, at least. That's nice, nice. That's awesome. All right, so now. We're going back into this. I gu I'm guessing we're going to be going back into Evelyn's match. If I had to make a guess. Let's see what happens. But I, I have a guess we're going to be going back into uh, Evelyn Rose's match here. Let's see what happens. Yep, back into this match. All right. Brooklyn are finally recovering after we cut away to see what was happening backstage between Trey and Samoa Joe. I'm just glad that thanks to Trey, we're going to get a definitive winner in this match. Yeah, as long as one of them can make it back in the ring before the 10 count. They're both back and in. They both do. Neither of them are ready for this match to end. For nearly a decade, the Divas title was the pinnacle. Now you gotta win the match by pinfall submission. So now you just gotta do it until you win. Now, Michael, you and I were there to call the final defense of this title at Roadblock in 2016. And I am excited to call it again right here tonight. This could be big. So you gotta do everything we can to try to win this match. In the corner. This is not where she wants to be, Michael. I can tell you that. Kick right to the midsection. She's starting to tire a little. She needs to turn the tide here. She's in full control now. Stringing together some big moves here. She's nice running swanton. She better make sure she's from Brooke or uh, from uh, Evan and Rose. Here we go. WWE Universe is on its feet, anticipating one of the most watched. Now taken of down, Brooklyn Von Braun. Championship. Oh, again! Everyone 
wants the ability to win a title, to take the championship home. You can feel the intensity tonight. This could be uh, pen, pen. Let that be it. Let that be it. at this point. Wow, I am impressed. Oh, come on. A lot of time for that. That is a great reversal. She wants it one more time. Come on. That's it. Red has done it. We do have to end it pretty soon here, though. So I hope this is the end of it. Because we got to end it pretty soon. Dream in capturing the WWE Divas Championship. This has to feel like a giant weight has been lifted off of Red. In well, guys, I do want to thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like for future content and videos. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you, guys, and have a good night for her, both personally and professionally.